Hey friends, it's Ramona, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back uh, to my warm reviews on the Villains collection uh, that was released a week or two ago. And I have been melting these over the weekend, so I do have some thoughts. <clears throat> Mostly similar to what I thought on cold, but now I have uh, warmed them so I can tell you a little bit more what I think about them. So let's start here. Poor Unfortunate Souls and where are my scent notes? Right here. Um, an alluring potion of wild blackberry, scarlet raspberry, and bubbly goji berry wrapped up in vengeful vanilla silk will leave you spellbound. Um, I wasn't too keen on this on cold and I wasn't too keen on this on warm either. It has a lot of that artificial candy, fruity, berry notes, um, which I don't care for. Um, the throw was pretty decent though. I gave it a 7 out of 10 for throw. It was kind of like... Uh, like the Jolly Ranchers, those kind of candies. That's what's in my head. Not necessarily the banana um, toffee ones, whatever they're called. It was like more like the hard candy Jolly Ranchers. And I, they're fine to ingest, but not really to smell for me. So for scent appeal, I gave it a three. For throw, I gave it a seven. Would I repurchase this? No, I would not. Uh, but lots of people do love it. So there you go. Let's talk about this one, Mistress of Evil. This is the beauty of gardenia meets malevolent musk, while juicy blood orange drips over Satsuma plum for the sweetest revenge. So I gave this a 9 out of 10 for scent appeal. I really enjoyed it. I really liked um, the, little, the little bit of floral note with the musk. And the, and the plum did come out a little more on warm. So I really enjoyed this. If you like another company's Black Amber Plum, I'm pretty sure you will like this. It's similar. I wouldn't call it a dupe or anything like that. But it is very similar with the musk and the plum and a little bit of the floral in there as well. So I really, really like this. Like I said, oops, I gave it a 9 out of 10 for scent appeal. Now for throw, it was a medium, 7 maybe a seven and a half. So I, lo I loved it so much. I wish I could have given it a nine for throw, but I could not. But even still, it was still very present. I knew it was warming. I just wanted it to be stronger. Okay, dark and devious. Uh, this is brooding black pepper, star anise, and cinnamon. Stir up a plot with smoked absinthe and ancient hemlock for the ultimate revenge. And so we did look up absinthe and it's some kind of licorice sort of thing. Um, so it's very, it is very dark. It is very mysterious. I gave it an eight out of 10% appeal. Definitely you get the black pepper in there and I can't really describe, um, it actually does smell like black pepper, black pepper with a little bit of, um, black licorice. That's what I'm getting. Black pepper and black licorice. I don't really get the cinnamon or star anise. I'm not sure what ancient hemlock, ancient hemlock smells like, but definitely black pepper and black licorice. As I said, it's very dark, very mysterious, very nighttimey, you know, cold, dark, dreary day to, for me. Um, so scent appeal, I gave it an eight. And this one threw, threw pretty good too. I would give this one an eight out of 10 for throw as well. So uh, plus plus on all counts there. And then the last one is just one bite. And this is the temptation is too much to resist when poisoned apple hidden deep in forest woods blends with warm cinnamon and menacing black molasses. So luckily I don't get a whole lot of cinnamon on this. So you can kind of don't be, don't be afraid of it if you're worried about cinnamon. Definitely I got woods and apple. And the woods is kind of like, and this may be, I might be totally off here, but this is what my nose picked up. Kind of like apple and Palo Santo. And again, you know, that's just my interpretation of it, but I really did enjoy it because I love apple scents and I love Palo Santo scents. And again, it was not too much cinnamon, barely, I mean, barely cinnamon at all, I would have to say, especially on warm, on warm, I did not get any cinnamon. Now the menacing black molasses, I don't know, there was something deep and rich in there, which might have, I guess I could call that the molasses. It was like the Palo Santo, but like, 
a deeper, darker Palo Santo, if you know what I mean. A dark woods, a deep woods, maybe even like, <sighs> this isn't going to sound attractive or enticing, but almost like if you go uh, through a walk in the woods, I just went for a hike the other day in the woods, sometimes you get a patch of fallen leaves and some of the ones underneath maybe have gotten wet and a little bit musky maybe that's kind of what I think the menacing black molasses is I don't know but I did get that feeling of wet leaves wet palo santo wet dark I don't want to say rotten leaves but wet leaves that have been on the ground for a little while you know what I mean um, with the apple. So again, I, I enjoyed this one a lot as well. I gave this an 8 out of 8 percent appeal and the throw also 8 out of 8. So I 8 out of 10. Sorry. Did I say 8? Out of, I did say 8 out of 8. Yeah. 8 out of 10 percent appeal, 8 out of 10 for throw. So I, like I said, except for uh, this gal right here, I enjoyed all of them. This one, not so much, but I did enjoy all of them. So I don't know if that was helpful, helpful for you or not, um, but there you have it. Now, in just about an hour's time or so, the bricks are going to be released, $24 each or two for $40. So um, if you think they're kind of expensive, just kind of figure out what, there's six bars in one brick, five and a half bars in one brick. So look the, at the value that way. And what I have done in the past is find a friend who will order with you. You order two, she orders two, four different ones, and then you cut them in half, so you each have four half bricks, which is a great value. So consider doing that, find a friend, um, and do that, and that is, um, I think that's all I have to say about Sensi today. So yeah, about an hour, check your website, check my website, and um, we'll see you online, because I'll be getting some bricks too. I'm getting two more fluffy fleece, because I loved it that much. Um, and like, I probably could put one bar, another one bar in my Sensi Club. Oh, I should mention this, that all the bricks that are going to be released today, they will be available in bar form, uh, to put in your Sensi Club if you have a Sensi Club. So that's a great idea as well. Anyhow, uh, that's it for now and I will see you soon. Bye.